How to change oil on your 1969 Cadillac or any Cadillac with the 472 V8. Might be a good idea to warm her up a little bit. All right, start on the second time. Let's see it. There it goes. Take off the oil cap so that it drains easier. Then you find out your piece of shit is leaking gas too now. What the hell? That's why she's starting hard. Anyway, there's the front of the car. There's the oil filter. Real easy to get to. Here's the oil filter that I'm using. S3675. It's an STP. You know it's high quality now. You see it lines up pretty good. Alright, so that's the oil filter there. There's the oil pan drain plug. Yep, this was my first guess for sure. There's a 11 sixteenths. Perfect fit right there. Make it easy on me. Oh, going the wrong way. I'm a pro, I promise, baby. There we go. Yep, first try. That's what it was. Not gonna lose the bolt. Gonna get greasy, though. Oh, make sure the oil pan's open. My arm looks like an alien right now. All right, oil pan's open. Drain plug's ready to go. Now we gotta do the quick switcheroo. I'm pushing the bolt in so that the oil doesn't come out until the threads are done. Pushing the bolt into the pan. All right, I feel it really loose, so I'm gonna pull it out real quick. Oh, not ready yet, let's try again. Almost there, okay, ready? Three, two, one. There we go right in the oil pan all right i know for sure that crush washer has been on there for uh at least a decade maybe more if it ain't broke don't fix it right all right i got the oil filter off go watch my youtube short on how to, the best way to remove your oil filter if you want to see that uh now i'm going to put the new shiny i'm going to clean that up and then i'm going to put the new shiny one on all right first i'm using 10w40 and this is high mileage yeah, you know, everybody's got a preference with their oils. I did some reading on the forums and figured this one is fine. There's a lot of alternatives out there though. Uh, this is full synthetic, I believe, yeah, or synthetic blend. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of oil into the filter to get it sort of uh, prepared for its job. Made a huge mess, that's fine. Also, you only need five quarts for this big 472. I've got a 1.8 liter Toyota MR2 Spider, and that takes four and a half quarts and this 7.7 .7 liter v8 takes five quarts so anyway it's kind of interesting all right the new filter should spin on easy watch this yeah easy easy if it doesn't spin easy then you're cross threading it all right i'm gonna wipe the oil that i got everywhere and i'm gonna tighten it down just by hand i'm gonna go and that's tight enough we'll switch the ratchet from breaking things to fixing things and Give this a tighten. The filter's on there. Guten tight. It's a technical specification. And the drain bolt goes, I'm pretty sure it's uh, just about uh, foot pounds, something like that. All right, I'm feeling civilized today, so I got a funnel. Oil is going in. Mmm, drink up. So I'm gonna try to just put like four quarts in and then see where we are on the level. Or I'll put four quarts in, I'll start it up, run it a little bit, make sure there's no leaks, then I'm gonna let it sit for a second, check the dipstick, and then we'll add more if we need to. Don't forget your oil cap. Ask me how I know. Just click. All right, moment of truth. While it starts, is it leaking? It's leaking gas. <laughs> That's leaking so much gas. All right, the gas is another problem, but it's not leaking any oil. So what I did is I cleaned off the filter. No leaks on that. I cleaned off the drain plug. No leaks on that. Everything looks good. 
Uh, there's a lot of gasoline leaking. <laughs> I need to fix that. Uh, but the oil, oil change went well. I'm gonna turn it off and let it sit for maybe 30 minutes, check the oil level, top off any oil if I need to. But it's running good, it sounds real smooth now. There it is. It's right there, right there. It's a little bit low, so I had a I'll add uh, like half a quart or three quarters of a quart. That's it. Oil change is done.